I have used countless clear cases over my life. And in the last couple of years, I've used countless MagSafe cases as well across different phones. So I've used the Apple one, the SpyGen one, and a bunch of other brands as well that I can't recall right now. But Moft reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to try our clear case? And generally I turn down case reviews because I they're just too many and, and I can't cover them all. But I was interested because I've heard of Moft. They are a pretty decently sized company and they're um, they're, they're, they don't only manufacture cases, but they do have a lineup of accessories as well that I'll feature in another video if I like them. Um, so I thought, hey, let me go ahead and try out this case and see what it's like. So they sent me the case, uh, the phone, the snap phone case, and this is the case. It looks pretty nice. Let me go ahead and pull it out. So it does have the MagSafe uh, attachment. I'm um, sorry, the MagSafe magnet inside, not attachment. And it looks pretty clean. I don't know how I feel about this connected design. Um, so if you guys know, the MagSafe cases usually have the ring and then they have a separate magnet here. Um, so Moff just made it into a design, which I'm not sure how I feel about. But anyways, here's a look at the case uh, itself. It is fully covered. All the sides are covered. The buttons are covered as well. There is no texture or ridges on the buttons themselves. Uh, the bottom itself is covered as well. Let's just go ahead and try to bend the case and see if there's any flex to it. And surprisingly, no, not at all. It's quite sturdy and I'm giving it a decent amount of force. Let's go ahead and give the sides a test, pulling them apart. Very rigid. Uh, it's a little bit uh, less rigid around the volume and power button, but that's to be expected. Top and bottom are pretty rigid too. Top is, again, obviously more stronger than the bottom just because of the bottom cutouts. But let's go ahead, put this phone inside the case and see what it looks like. So there is a design element to this that I am curious about. And the one thing I'm not a fan of right off the bat, I'll say is this is a white, white moffed logo. Not a fan of it. I would prefer it to be a little bit more subtle. So if you guys have seen Spygen's cases, they're very subtle. They have the branding here on the side and it's clear. So you can barely tell. Um, I'm not big on having branding on my cases, be it even Apple. I don't like, I would prefer it to be a clean look. So um, that's one part I don't like. But other than that, in feel, in hand feel is pretty nice. It feels really, really similar to the SpyGen Ultra Hybrid cases. I kind of, if, if you had um, just given it to me face up, I would have probably thought you gave me a SpyGen case. Uh, it's not until I look on the bottom where, uh, sorry, the back where you realize this. Um, the camera is pretty well protected as well with the iPhone 14 Pro having this massive camera bump. You guys can see that the uh, case does have this raised edge here that allows you to have a little bit more protection when you put your phone face down, I'm sorry, uh, camera down and you don't have to worry about it. Same way, uh, there is a considerable lip as well. So you guys can, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up, but maybe you guys will be able to see. Uh, I do have a tempered glass screen protector on and the screen is, the case is still above that. So no worries with having the phone face down on a table or something if you do use it like that. And Beyond that, what do I think? It it seems to be pretty nice. The one thing I will keep an eye on is how it yellows. And another thing I am noticing is that there doesn't seem to be really any uh, space left in here for impacting, uh, sorry, absorbing impact. Uh, you will see that Spygen cases have little pockets in the corners. Uh, and not only Spygen cases, there are other brands as well that will have little impact corner so that uh, when there is a shock sent through the case, these corners are able to uh, absorb it instead of having the uh, case itself send the uh, shock to the phone. So this, I'm not sure. Again, I'm gonna be testing it out. So we'll see how the case ages. But before I go, I would like to test the case with a MagSafe stand and see how, the ma how strong the magnet is. So this is a uh, charger stand that I use for charging my phone all the time. So let's see how strong the magnet is. Pretty strong, okay. And wow, that is absolutely on there. So I'm pushing it down. It is not moving at all. Like you guys can see, I'm actually pushing it down. Um, there's absolutely no movement. So let me just give you guys an example. If the phone is on this uh, stand without a case, it, it's just as strong, but when you push, look at that, 
it makes a circle. It moves around on the magnet. But with this case, the grip is really, really strong. So that is impressive. Uh, like it does not want to move. That's a good thing uh, because that means that if you use car mounts or some kind of accessory that requires the phone to be steady, this will definitely be there. So I have to really almost like lift off it and pull it, push it for it to, to move around. So that is a very, very strong magnetic uh, hold on the case. So I'm like really going hard trying to make it fall down and it is not. So that's a pretty awesome, awesome magnet. And uh, just this design i'm not sure on but the power and the uh usability of it 10 on 10 on that no no complaints whatsoever so all that being said uh, i think that this is a pretty good case i do think that uh this branding could have been avoided but other than that the quality of it seems pretty high the magnets are pretty strong and overall the look of it is very similar to most of the clear cases uh it, it is very comparable to the Spy Gen 1 and the Apple 1. Uh, now, how it's gonna yellow, that's something I'll keep an eye on over time, but initial impression-wise, if you guys see these MOF cases and you're intrigued by them, I think so far there's nothing for me to say that you shouldn't try them out. Go ahead, try them out. And if you have any experience with MOF cases, uh, any of them, or the brand in general, let me know how it's been. Uh, this is my first time using their products, and again, as I started said in the beginning, they, they did send me this. They didn't pay me anything. They didn't ask me for compens. I didn't ask them for any more compensation. I was just intrigued by the brand, having learned about them and known about them. So I thought, let me test out their products, since I do cover a lot of cases. Uh, if you have any more questions, or if you want to check this case out, guys, it's going to be linked down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.